Hello everybody and welcome to another video from Mac user and in this video we're going to look at the recycle bin inside OneDrive. The first thing we will need to do is log in to the 365 portal as the admin account. This account will allow us access to both the OneDrive account of the user and the recycle bin which is the bit we're trying to actually get to, we're trying to restore files from the recycle bin that were accidentally deleted by the user. The scenario here quite easily could be that the person has gone on holiday uh, and a certain file has been accidentally deleted. It was in their OneDrive account and we need to obviously restore that file so that other people can have access to it. So it's pretty straightforward. So once we've logged into 365 admin portal, we need to locate the active user or the user in question and highlight the user. So on the right hand side you've got access to that user's account. So you need to go to the far right hand option which is where it says OneDrive. So you click on the OneDrive and then just below that it gives you the option to create a link to the actual OneDrive account. So you click on that and it will whir away for a couple of seconds and then it comes up with the actual URL that you needed to access the OneDrive via the admin account within 365. So you can then just click on that link and it will go away on the website to the URL of the OneDrive account and all the information is in there. And all we have to do to access the recycle bin, so you access the URL of the OneDrive link. And when you're in that website, all you need to do is delete the OneDrive.aspx. So delete that final part of the uh, URL and replace it with the word recycle bin, all one word, .aspx. And then just press return. And that will take you to the recycle bin. And then once you're in the recycle bin, you can then restore the files in question. So it's very, very straightforward. Uh, this seems to be hidden within the Microsoft website for some reason. I don't know why there's not a simple link in the 365 portal to go to the recycle bin, but anyhow, uh, by just replacing OneDrive.aspx with RecycleBin.aspx, you actually get to where you need to go to restore those files. Anyway, that's it for today. It's a very short video. Hopefully it's of some help and don't forget, have a great day.